What's up everyone? This is another episode of On Campus and today I am joined with Seth and Jasmine and today we're going to be talking about the sports broadcasting program and their experience here at Solana. Thank you guys for joining me here today. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So can you guys tell, or can you tell me a little bit about your experience here with the program so far? I'll start with you, Jasmine. Mm, the, um, my experience here is really fun. I actually like it. It's, at first, it was kind of intimidating at first since I'm like literally the only girl in the class mm. for the past, I think, two or three semesters. Yeah, it was really overwhelming, but I kind of stuck to it because I really like the program. Yeah, no, uh, I, I started uh, the, the program in spring, so I didn't get the fall uh, in education, which I'm getting now, but uh, we start, started in spring. First day, everything is set out, everything is laid out how, how it's supposed to be. Yeah. And then that night we have a, b b a basketball game. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That, that was, that was we, we hit the ground running on that. And yeah. Full it, force. Full yeah. force. <laughs> and we're like, we're like, how do I do this? How do I, how, how, why does this work? I don't know. But it, 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 I think it turned out pretty well. So you guys actually work, you worked the first game? We worked mm -hmm. the first game. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What was that like? Very overwhelming. Oh, yeah. I thought we were going to fail at it the oh. first time, but we actually did really good for the first I, I, we, time. We did. It was like like class had just ended like an hour or two before, mm -hmm. and then we met up back, packed up the, the truck, and rolled over, and we were just like, we had, and everything needed to be laid out before the game started, <laughs> and oh, we, we, were just, we were just frantically trying to do this because we had, had, we had it all laid out. But it's very different setting oh, yeah. up. It is Definitely. is completely different. So, what was your guys' first jobs at the game? We were actually cameras. You were camera. I was on the scoreboard. Oh, I think. And, yeah. And I was having problems because it lags because oh, yeah. we didn't have a mouse. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> now we figure it <laughs> I mean, out. Now we have a mouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, being on the side camera was a bit um hard at first but then after a while i got really used to it because our producer brian like um kept on like um pointing me to the right directions that really helped a lot yeah, brian, brian does not get enough credit for what oh, he does yeah. here yeah he, 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 he basically <laughs> he basically runs everything yeah and uh keep, keeps everything going but yeah uh I, I didn't have to be on camera until the next game and I had no idea what I was doing. Oh my god! <laughs> like, like they, they, you can tell them to get like these are the shots you want to get, but I'm like, I'm still figuring out how this works. Oh yeah, how to zoom in. Mm -hmm. how to, brightness probably like screws up once in a while mm -hmm. too. And the connection. Oh, yeah. connection. Yeah. It probably definitely keeps you on your toes. It does. Mm -hmm. So, what would you guys say is the biggest thing that you learned from the first game until now? Uh Sometimes you just gotta take a deep breath and just okay. This is what this is the problem. What is the solution? This is the solution, and just work through the problem. I just say uh, just be patient with yourself and take it uh, step by step. Because I know it could be like really overwhelming at first, but just take a deep breath. Just um, go with it like one step at a time. So can you tell me your everyday duty when it comes to the game? Kind of like that whole process. Because you, you are on the tech side, so mm -hmm. not a lot of people know what happens behind the scenes. They see this, but mm -hmm. they don't know what comes with all of that. Okay, um, well first, um, just a big rundown. We usually set up the tables first. We um, set up either the TriCaster first or the laptops first. I usually do like either one, but I usually do the laptops first because those ones are the easiest. And then I slowly, after doing that, we I do the TriCaster last. And then after that, I turn everything on, make sure everything works well. And then I start, um, well, he does the cameras, yeah, but I, I set up my camera mm -hmm. last and yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I usually set up the TriCaster, but okay. and so for, for people at home who don't know, what, our TriCaster is basically <laughs> what makes the broadcast possible. It is, it, is, it is what makes all of this work. Mm -hmm. like, 
what we're using right now is basically a supercomputer super <laughs> oh, yeah. to, to, to get all this to process because of just mm -hmm. how much power it takes to just make a basic broadcast. Um, and that that is our that is our tool. If we do not have a TriCaster, we do not have a class. Yeah. Uh, because of just how ne necessary it is. Mm -hmm. But uh, so we set up the TriCaster and we have to run lines to the TriCaster that go all the way up to where our cameras are. Mm -hmm. We have to physically connect our cameras to the TriCaster, otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, and so we have all the lines prepped uh, out onto the, s onto the, uh, the stadium seating. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we have to set up the cameras in the three spots. We have the two side cameras, the main, and sometimes we'll have a floor camera, especially for uh, basketball. Uh, but for baseball, we'll have, we'll have the main camera like behind up and behind home plate, uh, and then the two side cameras uh, covering third and first base. And uh, we have a field camera, which is like all the way across the field. Which, which, ca which catches the uh, batter in mm -hmm. mid-swing usually. So I know you've had a couple opportunities to do some hosting. Oh yeah. Uh, can you tell us about that? <laughs> okay, so my first my first hosting uh, thing here was we were doing a Valentine's Day special last spring, uh, and, and so we had we come into class we were, didn't know we were going to be doing we didn't know we were going to be in mm, front of the camera, yeah. <laughs> and so so naturally it was me Jasmine uh, and then two others who. Uh, we, we, we had never been in front of the camera. We, yeah. we weren't doing broadcasts. We, we, were, we were behind the scenes people that day. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, I, was, I was hosting because I'm, my voice naturally projects. <laughs> and so I, we, we had about 15 minutes prep oh on that gosh. show. And uh, then we, uh, we, we went through it. I was sitting there screaming internally with my <laughs> face I bet. Placid as best I could to make sure I wouldn't break down. But uh, it it ra lasted about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. It seemed like it lasted an hour. Oh, but, yeah. But uh, it, uh, it worked out pretty well. You uh, got through it, it. It got through it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you had any other opportunities besides doing? Um, I tried doing a uh, recap of the movies that is going to be coming out um, this year and the following next year. But that failed because <laughs> like we had other things because it was like during the summer and we had to do like the mudcats um okay. broadcast so we kind of put that project off but yeah it failed <laughs> well, that's okay yeah. yeah you know you'll get it one day but mm -hmm. it's good that you found what you love to do and kind of speaking of that was there a time that in this program where you're like hey this is what i want to keep doing mm -hmm. um it was Maybe me um, doing like the TriCaster parts, I actually like really enjoy doing that. And then actually like, I'm taking a semester break. So like during that break, I might um, I, um, teach myself how to um, do the TriCaster and actually be certified for it. That's awesome. That's where the yeah. money's at. That's yeah. what yeah. Paul always says. <laughs> so. so hopefully, Poth, he'll <laughs> let me um, work on the TriCaster while I'm like studying for the certification. That would be awesome. Break. Yeah. Same. Okay. <laughs> so both both TriCaster. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the biggest thing that you guys have gotten out of this program? Hmm. The technical side of things, like how things work and how to like problem solve when things don't go as planned. Like for example, if like one of the um, cameras is down so we have to like quickly um fix that problem but be um not stealthy about it yeah <laughs> <laughs> and not be like oh god everything's falling apart but oh, no yeah. you just have to stay focused keep calm and try to fix the problem as soon as possible so i think that one helped a lot oh yeah it's it, it's definitely about not panicking so you don't mm -hmm. disrupt everything yeah, else yeah. going on because we're all in this we're all in the same headset yeah yeah composure is key composure is key <laughs> mm -hmm. definitely i mean pop is always sharing his words of wisdom so what do you think is the best piece of advice that he's given you and something that you feel like you will take with you in your future endeavors hmm hmm patience is key Def uh, definitely patience is key but also uh just work through the problem just okay why is this wrong it should be this way so 
then just just work backwards through it mm -hmm. and take it a step at a time too because that really helps too so what would you say your overall like dream job would be right now oh uh to be a producer for a big um, broadcasting company awesome yeah yeah pro probably probably producer but probably start out as like a uh as like a set director and then go from there so what would you tell anyone that's hiring right now? Why should they hire you specifically out of all the other people that are looking for that job? Oh, geez. Mm. Like what makes you unique? Well, for this program, it really helped us um, learn the basic levels of certain things. Like for example, like working the cameras, for example. We know like the, the basics you have to work on it. And um, we don't know like the technical side, like for example, like the um, buttons, but we know how to like work it functionally. So I think that like helps with the hiring. Yeah, it, it, it's, we're, we're, we, we, can, we could run a studio just between the two of us. That's awesome. We, 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 we could run a basic studio like about one studio about this size we could run it no problem wow and as, as long as the camp the equipment doesn't break down yes we're good. <laughs> yeah wow that, that's that's amazing yeah, we, we, no problem we, yeah we, we could run we could run the studio You're no the problem dynamic duo Basically. yeah <laughs> we're like mini brian and she's, she's <laughs> graphics i'm i'm setting up the hardware <laughs> so lastly what's the best piece of advice that you could give to anyone that wants to be a part of this program uh, probably, uh, this is not a easy class. This, oh, is, yeah. this is not a, this is not a, oh, I'll show up like half the time and pass. No, you, you need to, you need to be there on time to set up, to learn what you're doing. Cause if you don't, you're going to mess yourself up because this is not a class. This is a job training. Oh yeah. This I a, view yeah. it as like a, um, internship that is yeah. like unpaid and um like an experience so paid an experience oh, yeah gr yeah oh, so much experience <laughs> so much experience like don't treat this class as a class treat it as a job opportunity because like after you graduate from this pr uh, program it'll open up many doors to like um either broadcasting or even being like a anchor and stuff like that so i, I believe that this class, this program is really important. So, yeah. Well, thank you guys for doing what you do. Like, I, I mean it from the bottom of my heart that you guys are literally like the most important people in the room. Like without you guys, like <laughs> this whole thing wouldn't, wouldn't even be happening. So thank you. And I'm really excited to see where your futures go. Thank you. So thank Thanks. you guys for joining me here today. This has been another episode of On Campus. I'm your host, McKenna Guerrero, and we'll see you next time. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Savannah Lopez. Thank you for watching Solano College Sports Network.